he's my buddy and what I do for him is kind of extreme but um, I love him very much and, and, and I, I can't help it I, I mean one thing that I wanted to say is that you know whenever I whenever I'm feeding our dog here blue then um, his name is blue then I uh, you know I chew up my stuff and one time I, I chewed up my food and and uh, gave it to him like I do here and um, my mom was watching and she was like ooh that's gross you know and she didn't want to see it um, and that's kind of the way my wife is too she won't pre-chew the food I mean, it's, it, to me it is kind of like uh, when a mother bird uh, regurgitates food uh, for you know whenever she goes out and hunts and gets some food and then brings it back to the nest and then regurgitates that food and and gives it to her uh, little chicks so that's kind of what I feel like I'm doing a little bit um, whenever I you know I pre-chew the food and I give it to him and the reason why I pre-chew the one of the reasons why I pre-chew the food is um, because he likes food that I that I that I like you know uh, if I had it he, he, he thinks he's a human sometimes some, somewhat and so if I if I if I like that food then he will like it he's pretty sure that he'll like it too so but the other thing, the reason why I pre-chew the food is because whenever right in the beginning, whenever he started, we started to have difficulties with the seizures and stuff like that, and, and uh, it was hard to stop them. And, um, it was a horrible situation. Uh, we took him to the vet to find out what was wrong with him, and the vet said um, she thought he was, I think it's high hypoglycemic um, he doesn't get enough sugar into his blood system or something like that so he has seizures um, so she said well whenever he has a seizure give him some caro syrup caro syrup is you know syrup like uh, has a lot of sugar in it and stuff um, so we were giving him carol syrup for quite a while uh, and he he was doing okay with that um, but I didn't really notice a whole lot of change as far as the amount of seizures or whenever they happened or anything like that so you know and then I also looked at his teeth and his teeth were starting to rot away because the carol syrup what we do is we we would stick our finger in the carol syrup uh, where we would get a little we squeeze a little carol syrup out into a bowl and then we would stick our finger into the carol syrup and we would get a little bit of uh, carol syrup on on our fingertips and then we would get that get that carol syrup and uh, my wife would do this too sometimes and uh, we would rub it on his gums um, because the the vet said it's not good to force him to uh, have that carol syrup because uh, it might cause him to uh, not be able to swallow and have a hard time and, and uh, not be able to breathe and stuff like that so anyway uh, she said the best thing is is it directly gets directly into his system if you take the carol syrup and you put it uh, if you rub it into his gums because then I guess it goes through osmosis or something like that it goes directly the sugar goes directly into the gums and it goes directly into the blood system and it much quicker that way instead of digesting it so we did that for a little while, but then uh, then uh, Blue, our dog here, um, 
he started to get, uh, he started to have a lot of uh, cavities. The teeth were, the teeth were just really, really bad, really bad looking teeth. So, so we took him to the vet to get his teeth fixed, and they removed a ton of his teeth, like, like 23 teeth or something like that, or they removed it, like half of his teeth. So he hardly has any teeth. The only teeth that he has left is these canines right here and these top ones right here, the incisors, I think is what they're called. And then he has a little, he has a couple of molars or something like that in the back. One side, he doesn't have any teeth, any top teeth at all, except for this canine over on that one side. But anyway, so he, can, he doesn't have a whole lot of ability to chew things up. And so what I do is um, I, I pre-chew the food and then I put it in my hand and I spit it into my hand and then I give it to him. And uh, most of the time he likes it. Uh, there's some times when he doesn't like it and I have to force feed him, but most of the time he likes it uh, just fine. I remember if I force feed him, I chew it up quite a well, quite a bit, so that whenever I do force feed him, then it's not going to get lodged in his throat and stuff like that. Here's another picture of our doggies, uh, of the other dogs. I, I kind of wanted to get a little bit of a look from Blue before I closed off the video here. 